are you at the right place for your destiny to like blow let me give you this gist now a lady picked up a beggar from the streets and took him into a high-end salon she wanted to do the whole one day makeover for the guy and right there a stranger walked in wondering i ah, was going on who is this guy and they just explained to him and i was like oh, okay send me your account number and then on the spot 100k become money enter another story a top musician that you know this big musician he went to the streets with the whole disguise and everything and he was playing one of his greatest hits the one that if you go to this uh theater to listen to you're going to be paying like at least hundred dollar per seat so he was playing it on the streets with the bag open for coins and people were passing and people hardly dropped coins and then at the end of the whole video the person who posted it was like sometimes the talent is inside you but you are displaying it in the wrong place you are displaying it for the wrong crowd look at the beggar for example that they dashed hundred thousand he is always on the streets in the market begging for money and people are passing and probably giving him 20 naira 100 naira if you see 500 naira make i bend but he entered into a high-end salon for the first time and from only one person in a matter of minutes he got 100k look at the top musician the top composer playing his hits that people are paying minimum of 100 dollars to listen to he played it on the streets and people were like whoa benny why are you making noise why are you disturbing us sometimes it's not as if what you need to be great is not in you it's just that you are displaying it in the wrong place or you're surrounded by the wrong people see the reasons are plenty but the whole point is try and shift shift your location move from that your comfort zone go somewhere else and see what will happen just just i don't know just change change your environment change your mindset change your mentality and maybe from there you can blow now that i finished giving you the aspire to perspire check out this good saying me no this is not see this is a furry row now for us in yoruba land we call this a row jeja like a furry row jeja i think that's what it is called but i usually like to mix mine with ugu which you're going to see as we progress and when my mom is making this soup she doesn't add omero or water or anything but my husband likes it so i add it like i mean i'm not married to my mommy if i'm making it for my mom i do it her way but when i'm making it for my husband i do it his way look at it now oh, 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 so good too. Oh, 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 i'm popping i added the vegetable they call it green here that's that name is very bland i like the rojeja name and then i mix it with ugu like i said but my video for for some reason did not record that part but see now see see